everyone. Welcome back to Fish Hut Northwest. We're here in the kitchen again this week with Chef Kelly. And I believe we have somewhat of a stew. Yes, we have a Korean seafood noodle stew. Noodles. And, yeah, noodle stew. And uh, my best friend is Korean, and, and he kind of inspired me to kind of revisit uh, Korean food. And uh, so I've been working on this one a little bit for the summer. Yeah. And uh, this is a delicious one. I was like, I want to share this. So, All right. Okay. So one important point of this one is the the Korean chili flakes. Uh, you can get these in bulk at your whoa, at your Asian <laughs> market. <laughs> at your Asian it's market. It's going to be a spicy stew. Yeah. Right. It's <laughs> flying everywhere. <laughs> All right. Make sure we pick that up before Wilson gets out here and <laughs> little doggy might be a little spicy. He's a spicy meatball. <laughs> okay, so okay. so we're using using our uh, our leftover scraps. We have some leftover uh, lingcod scraps. You know the tail pieces and stuff. Uh, got some halibut over here. Got some uh, squid. Uh, I dug up some clams and some mussels. Make sure you clean your mussels. Mine were really, really like barnacly, and of course they have barnacly. Yeah, they have beards on them. These little. This one oh. I can get. This one. That's a beard. That's what they how they attach to the rock or or wherever oh. they're, they're at. Learn something new every day with you. That's right. That's right. Okay. Then the vegetables we're going to be using today is uh, some leeks. We got some julienne leeks here. Make sure you rinse them because they can be sandy. <laughs> Uh, we got some carrots, julienne, some celery, julienne. I got some uh, green onions that I cut in thirds. This is half of a, uh, a yellow onion. And we got some baby bok choy. I kind of V cut out the uh, core. So. No, my sister's name is Julianne. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start right now. So we got a little bit, uh, we got a hot pan here. All right. Okay. Okay, this is going to be a really hot pan, so it's going to go quick. So, that's a whole lot of garlic. About two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, okay. And ginger is very, uh, very strong. Right. So, okay, then we're going to add our Korean chili flakes. We're going to start with two solid tablespoons. Now, you're just saying, oh man, that's a lot. That's actually not a lot. It's add a little not? oil. It's not. Okay. I'll trust you. Okay. Ooh, that's going. So quick. Well, this is the kind of the base of our of our uh, stew, is that it has uh, a lot of chili flakes. So we're gonna add all this in there, all of our vegetables. We're gonna saute this okay. up. Okay. Except for the bok choy. Except for the bok choy. Bok okay. Choy. Okay. Awesome. So, over here in this pan here, actually this one here. Uh, so I went uh, bottom fishing the other day, and uh, I got some sea bass, and mm -hmm. so I saved their carcasses. And because I was like, oh, well, I'm going to save them for crab bait. And I was like, wait a minute, I, I should make some uh, fish stock with it. So, you know, we're, we made our own fish stock. This is just uh, some carrots. So this is fresh. Fresh sea bass. But you can, you know, freeze your carcasses and use that too. That's absolutely fine. So, yeah, absolutely. So for uses crab bait too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So you've got some celery, some... Celery, carrots, and onions. You know the French will say that that's that's the mirepoix. That's their their uh, they uh, the Cajuns call it the Holy Trinity. That would be ca <laughs> you know, carrots, uh, the uh, celery, onions, and bell pepper. The French have the mirepoix, which is their Holy Trinity, which is those things. That's the, their oh. common denominator. They have a lot of things. Okay, so uh, so then I had uh, added a little bit of kombu. To uh, my fish stock, and what yeah. is that? So this is uh, this is your your kombu. This is dried kelp. So I just added like a three inch strip to uh, my fish stock. Okay. Okay. We just got that at the Asian market. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Wow. Okay. So we're going to add a second addition 
of chili flakes. And We're going to add another tablespoon. So in total, okay. three tablespoons so far. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so now we're going to add our fish. So we're adding our lingcod here. Our halibut. Oh. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just then throw it all our, in. Yeah. Throw it all in. And then our bok choy. We're just going to arrange it like that. So just kind of poke it down in there so that it's kind of slightly covered. Man, I wish people could smell these. Right? Ugh. Okay. And so our seasoning is going to come from salt. So we're going to add a little bit of salt. Then we're going to add some fish sauce. This is also our, our salt level too. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that's about... <laughs> Two tablespoons of fish sauce. Okay. So we're going to reserve, you know, we're going to hold back a little bit and then we're going to season the taste. For the salt. Right, yeah. for the salt. Okay. So there you go. So that's going to need to like simmer for about, oh, four or five minutes. Okay. okay? Until our fish is, is almost done. And no. then you add, like, you have squid here still yeah, to really go because it, they don't take very long. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, we just got a little simmer time right now. Okay. Well, I guess while we simmer that down, yeah. we will go ahead and shoot it back to you guys in the studio. Welcome back to Fish Hunt Northwest in the Kitchen with Chef Kelly, and we are putting the finishing touches on our Korean seafood noodle stew. Hi. Look at that. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, so to finish this off, we're just going to add our calamari in at the last second here. We're just going to tuck it in there. Hey, and that's that squid you... I jigged up. And, jigged and, up. Yeah, in, in December. <laughs> you really did go through all your stuff. Oh, well, no, I still have over. spot shrimp, uh, I still have uh, razor clams, I still have a bunch of stuff in here. Spot shrimp would sound good in this. Yes, absolutely, you can use spot shrimp here, but I, this is the, I would add it in just like I am with the calamari because, you know, overcooked spot shrimp is garbage. They kind of get mealy, they get uh, just bad just bad. Don't you eat it raw? No. Yeah, I eat them raw. Uh -huh. I mean, a lot of you know high-end chefs, you know, they uh, they do like a, a, a spot shrimp crudo, they'll call it, and they'll mm -hmm. you know maybe put some olive oil, some mm -hmm. French sea salt, and like oh it's crudo, and it's like eh, okay, it's raw, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They're still delicious. Fancy name, fancy name. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to. Have okay, that. so. Uh, <laughs> We have some uh, fresh noodles here that we cooked just ahead of time. Uh, we boiled them. These ones happened to be just boiled for like a minute and a half and they were done. We rinsed them in cold water, but all different from you know, these fresh noodles are different. Some boil longer, some you can just stir fry. Okay, and those are like a wheat noodle? Yeah, these are a wheat noodle. Okay. okay so these are cold, but the, the broth is hot, so it'll bring it up to temp mm. right there. So we'll probably add like about that much right there. Okay. Okay. Oof. Yeah. Beautiful. That's it. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. And if you went to the Korean market right now, a Korean restaurant right now, they would serve it to you just like this. They would have a great big pan of this. Um, oh, just right at the table? Just right at the table and you kind of serve yourself kind of a deal. Mm. Um, it's just the way it is. It's, uh, I love it. I, I love that kind of style of, yeah. of community food kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there oh, you go. Well, I kind of like you plating it up for me. Oh yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So one so, time I get to have you do something for uh -huh, me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we'd add our juice in there, just like that. Uh. 
all this halibut in there. It got some mussels, got some clams, uh, a little spicy. Got some baby bok choy right here. Bok choy. Just I like, don't know why I like saying that so much. But right, it's kind of a fun name yeah. to say. Okay. So, I'm going to start to clean this up a little bit. Okay. A little bit of green onions, too. Like that. A little more green onions. More green onions? Yeah. Okay, fine. All, All right. right. Make it your own, right? Yep. Here, take that. Okay, <laughs> and then I just have some enoki mushrooms here. These are nice. Enoki? Enoki en mushrooms okay. here. Okay, what are those? Yeah, like a, uh, I don't know, like a really fine, almost grass-like mushroom. You eat them raw, and it's just kind of cool looking, too. Yeah. So there you go. If you like it spicy, guys, definitely try my Korean seafood noodle stew. Uh, play with any kind of seafood that you want. There's there's no true rule about what's what seafood goes in it. Uh, today we did sea bass, ling cod, uh, calamari, clams, mussels, but yeah, it could be anything. Okay. So yeah, and you can also dial down the spice level too. I did. I think we topped out at three, three. tablespoons. Yeah. Yeah, and it's on. It's probably up there around a seven out of ten. So you can probably okay. dial it down. All right. Well. You this like that? This is all mine. <laughs> all mine. Here you go. All right. Okay. Well, we dig in. We're going to go ahead and shoot it back to you guys in the studio.